Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Studio Life. My name is Mark here on the campus of MBS Media Campus and our stage, Manan Beach Studios. And thank you very much for joining. I'm here today to take a look at the at the titler here for vMix. In the old days, we used to buy character generators and we used to spend a lot of money on them. And the truth is, vMix to me is among the best character generators that has ever been invented. It handles text and graphics beautifully. And it does some other things along with that. For instance, we are a shop that does a lot of shows, a lot of projects. Everything is different every day. And so we're changing our graphics every day. We have shows that have different guests or may have different call-ins. And so we need a system where we can very quickly enter in new guest information and have that be on screen in no time. And vMix built a system to do just that. And so let's take a quick look here. If you were to take a look at our vMix system, my job right now is speed. And by the way, I, for what it's worth, I'm not using vMix to edit today. I'm actually uh, cutting this live on a hardware switcher on my data video because I wanted to show you my vMix and the data video worked great. We cut on everything. We're always picking the right tool for the job. And there are a lot of productions where the right tool for the job is a hardware switcher. There are other jobs where the right tool for the job is a software switcher. And a lot of the time when we're using a hardware switcher, we're still using vMix. It's an incredible character generator tool for the hardware. It's lightning fast, it's super easy. So let's take a really quick look at a couple of the things that we like most about it. Here we are in vMix and you could see this beautiful video of my friend Lipbone Redding. By the way, if you don't know Lipbone, you should. He's the best in the best in the business. And so here is GT Titler. And so I can come over here and let's say I'm just gonna create a rectangle. I'm not possible feature here and let me, uh, let me just come in here and, and say, I'm not here to talk about every possible feature of vMix. We're not gonna talk about how you bind text. If you're interested in that, there are plenty of great tools or uh, great videos on that. vMix offers them, but I'm just gonna type in my name, Mark Nicholas, and let's take this and pop it down over here. Let's make that a little larger. And I will say vMix is not my favorite when it comes to text editing. And so please understand it is not a text editor, but as a character generator goes, it's pretty cool. It's a little clunky here on the text editing side of things. Why don't we pick a nice uh, uh, impact? Let's do a nice impact. There we go. Impact is cool. Impact is one of my favorite fonts. And now let's come in and let's make a copy of this uh, text. Boom, boom. Text block two. And let's just name that host the studio light. Let's make that a little smaller. Okay. There we go. Boom, boom. And that is a nice looking uh, lower third. And now let's come in here. Let's grab, I'm going to grab the layers. I'm not going to animate each one of the, the components. I'm just going to say on the transition in, I want to reveal. I want that to take half a second on the transition out. I want to reveal and I want that to take half a second. And so if you were to come in here and say, what does that look like? It looks like that slide in, slide out, bam, bam, bam. File, save as, let's just go to my X10 directory and just say, now we're going back to vMix. We're here in vMix. I'm going to add the title, add the title, recent, it's always there, bam. So now when I hit the number one, it comes on, slides on, reveals just the way we did it before and it slides off when I take the one away. And so just to be clear, it's just tapping it and tapping it. Now, personally, this is not the way I like to do things. I am not a big fan of fishing around for stuff. And so uh, when I'm editing, I don't like to have to find little pot parts, you know, of the screen to hit. Sometimes my mouse vanishes altogether and I don't know what I'm doing. And so with vMix, I'll go into my little wheel over here. And a lot of the time I'll click my overlay one. And now all I have to do is tap and you see it. I don't know if you can see it. Tap, let me, uh, let me uh, move that camera over. And so here, what we're doing is we're just tapping. We're just finding the spot and tap. Now it comes on and off and on and off. Now, 
within within vmix you can right click title editor what's great is i have these two areas that are editable now you can edit what you make editable so inside of gt titler over here on data and i can select the text box and it is not hidden so i can edit it this is not hidden and so i can edit it the rectangle is hidden but I could take this rectangle and unhide it. File, save, vmix. And now you'll notice the rectangle, which is not hidden, is available. And now I can simply change the color of that rectangle. Bam, 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 bam. How cool is that? Now let's bring, bring this thing back on the screen. And let's right click again, title editor, save. Notice what it saved is not just the two titles, the main title and the subtitle, but also the color. So now I can come in and I can, uh, you know, make somebody else's name. And um, we're gonna name somebody else as the other guy. The other person is the other guy. And I'm changing again the color of the font or the color of the background and bam. And now notice the other guy is now on the screen. I can take the other guy off, right click, studio life, bring it back on the screen. Other person, that's me. It's the two titles are right there. This is quick. Now, I'm not going into GT Titler any further, any more than this right now. Right now, what I want to do is just say to you, what we're talking about is speed. If you take the time to build a title that looks really great, and you have the logo that comes on and you've got the title that's revealed, it just looks fantastic, you no longer have to change it. You don't have to go into After Effects or Photoshop to make changes. You can change what you need on the fly. You can save it as presets. We also utilize data sources. These, this is something else we could talk about in another video. You can have a spreadsheet. We send it to a client that might have six call-ins. They'll fill it out, send it back. We link that up and now it's all preloaded. We can just simply go and select the, the row of the person speaking and that person comes right up on the screen really fast. This is cool. And so we're just kind of getting started. We utilize this with our hardware switchers where we'll do what's called hot keying, where we'll automatically feed in a graphics layer and the person on the vMix machine simply brings up the overlays they want to bring on and it automatically comes up on screen on our hardware switchers. The speed that you can change a title, tweak a title, any adjustment you need to make is just really, really quick. You don't have to re-render anything. It's just, it's like vector graphics. It just looks great. It animates beautifully. Does it have limitations? Of course, but very few. We have done incredibly complicated scoreboards with all kinds of pieces that are animated where you change the score with a you know with our our, our our Elgato stream deck and and it fades off one and brings the other one on and so we're talking about a graphics toolkit that is sky's the limit this is the very first step which is how do you get titles changed instantaneously without even thinking about it and this right off the bat should be one of your top tools you can create everything you want to make you can make with this thing and our speed to market with a full graphics package can in some cases be 10 minutes. So we're pleased. We're pleased to share our experiences with you. We are an assembly line and this helps us assembly line shows and projects. You can tell us that you need to be live and about one minute later, you can be live with full graphics package. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, drop us a note, send us some love. We appreciate it. And um, yeah, we'll see you next time.